Well, our top story today concerns about Jackson's water system. Uh, for about a week now, there's been no or low water pressure in several South Jackson neighborhoods. The federal government is now stepping in, saying the city's boil water notices are unacceptable. About five days ago, we understand that there's a, there was a water main break uh, causing low pressure, um, another uh, boil water advisory, um, and that's unacceptable. And we had to issue a notice of violation to the city of Jackson because it is unacceptable. Now we're hearing from Jackson City leaders when it comes to the water issues and the EPA's notice. And 12 News Anna Ferris joins us now. And Anna, what's the next step for the city's water system? Well, the state is expected to receive $79 million in federal infrastructure funds by the fall. That's allocated from the bipartisan infrastructure law. Now, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency says from there, there are subsequent payments that will follow for the next five years. Administrator Michael Regan sent a letter to state officials stressing the importance of properly distributing the funds so people can have access to clean, reliable drinking water. In November of 2021, Regan visited the state capitol, excuse me, yes, the state capitol as part of his journey to justice tour. Journey to justice tour while here, he saw firsthand the impacts of the failing infrastructure it, that it has on schools and residents. Now, Mayor LaBumba says part of that backlog at the plant is not having enough staff. When we talk about a shortage in terms of what we're dealing with, it may be relative to the challenge that we're facing at that particular time, right? Uh, the challenges that we continue to face uh, are at our water treatment facility. You know, as I always say, the systems we have are the systems we have until we replace them. And that's why it's important to have these conversations over where the funding is coming. Just like many places across this country, uh, the water infrastructure is just old and crumbling. Uh, but government has the responsibility to provide safe, affordable drinking water to every person in this country. Uh, and the mayor understands that that's his responsibility and obligation. As a response to the recent water outages, Administrator Regan has issued another fine to the city. It's a notice of noncompliance for not repairing and maintaining equipment in a timely fashion to produce the reliable drinking water. For 12 News, I'm Anna Farish.